out for Harambe. Welcome, everybody, to uh, this week's special edition of the Serial Vapors Podcast. In the studio with me today, Jay Armstrong. Yo, yo, yo. He's always here. He loves it here. He's got a cot upstairs, I'm not going to lie. He just... He loves it. If I lived here, I would murder that <laughs> fucking bird. I wish you would move in. I'll, I'll let you stay here as long as you want, as long as that bird dies. You like exotic food, Sonny? Yeah. I do. <laughs> There's a uh, macaw upstairs. Let's yeah. Go. Let's fry it up. I'm game. I'm game. <laughs> the Sonny that Jay is referring to is uh, Sonny from Sonny's Vapes. Sonny's Vape Shop. It's okay. not a gas station. Right. <laughs> Finally getting some love on the cereal vape. Finally. <laughs> He yeah. said, "Well, we were out at Sonny's last weekend, and, and like he didn't even—it made it sound like he was at like a barbecue or something. Like he wasn't <laughs> even at a vape shop. Like. <laughs> so Sonny's Vape Shop, mm-hmm. located a- in Mount Orb. Did you you opened a second location, right? Yeah, we have a location in uh, Georgetown now, which is uh, about twenty-five minutes from Mount Orb. Not Georgetown, Kentucky, obviously. No, Georgetown, Ohio, right. Brown County, <laughs> right." Brown County. No, hey, d- that's funny. It's in Brown County because right now we are in the Brown Sound Studios. Well, look at that. Yeah. Got to love so, the Brown, man. We're like UPS around so here. Unless it comes from Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jay's like a big Reds fan, too. You've been watching that team just fall apart. Dude, and the Bengals, dude. It's like they're in a competition to see who can make the biggest mistakes in the offseason. <laughs> it's really starting to piss me off. Yeah, we win every year. like that. We can win it being bad in the offseason. For sure, like uh, Bengals and the Reds, man. They, I don't know what's going on. You know what pisses me off the most about that? Anytime I say something about that on Facebook or any form of social media, there's always some asshole that's like, "You're not a real fan. You just don't know anything about baseball." No, we 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 won like 30 percent of our games last year when I bitched about it last year. So I think I was <laughs> proven pretty right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it was terrible. It's going to be terrible this year. Yeah, it is. It is. As long as we keep paying Joey Votto. Well, that's where they messed up. They gave Joey Votto all that money and had to get rid of everybody, everybody else. Like, yeah, it's, I, you know, I don't even know who, who's what. Like, and Votto doesn't even always produce. No, he was not <sighs> worth that. That was a bad, bad move. Dude's so, got psych problems, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like ESPN podcast. It is. Yeah. I'm saying I don't know if you guys know this. We're actually here to talk about vaping. <laughs> well, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but I mean, you know, that's part of it. You know, I love uh, love the Cincinnati area and. The, and into sports big time. Nothing wrong with that, really. You know, got got to rep the home team, you know. Yeah, for sure. We yeah. play the games in the shop too, and all that stuff. And you walk in, the Reds games on. You know, we're big into that kind of stuff. So it's definitely yeah. got a cool setup to hang out at. The way the bar is set up, like a horseshoe, everybody can hang out and right. do whatever. <clears throat> yeah, they pack around that thing and the, those events. It's crazy. I never, never thought it'd be like that, honestly. Uh, so. My stepdad actually built that bar. Yeah? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's not going anywhere. Like <laughs> right? That, yeah, like, for sure. Like So, <laughs> so I, I'm kind of curious here. You are the first actual vape shop owner that, that we've had on. I know I've talked to a, a lot of them in the area, but you're the first one to actually come on. Tell me, how, how did you start, how, how, did, how did you come about opening a vape shop? Was it, was it? purely chance was it would you set out to do it did it fill me in here right yeah um well actually uh the how i came out to that area i'll tell you first is uh my dad actually owns a liquor store in brown county so i i'm from the west side of cincinnati out by like king's vapor shop and uh uh, chevy area and stuff so i went out there i kind of started running a liquor store i always want to you know have my own business and uh I learned a lot from him as far as running business. So this isn't like my first rodeo either. Like I've been doing this stuff for uh, going on like 12 years. As far as the, the business, as far side as like of managing, it. yeah, right. running a business, that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, I just I saved up a bunch of money and decided to kind of start my own uh, tobacco store. And this is before vaping was. I mean, the 21st century ones we were talking about earlier uh, looked like a cigarette, uh, and blue was just like brand new, like playing commercials on tv i remember it um so we started out as a tobacco shop and uh you know we did okay uh i mean it's a story of struggle really though honestly uh i like lived in the in my first shop i lived in the back of the shop Uh, i had a buddy who 
came in, we, we uh, uh, built a shower in there and, and made a living quarters, that kind of thing. So, uh, I mean, it was a, a, a big struggle. But I remember like the first time somebody came in and they started asking about juice. And I'm like, what is what is juice? What the fuck is juice? Right. They're like, you got this juice like uh, pina colada flavored or uh, uh, sour apple or whatever. And I'm like, so I started like checking with a bunch of distributors and, and trying to find it. And I mean, that's one thing, too, about this industry is uh, uh, tobacco distributors do not understand this industry at all. Like they don't. I mean, they don't understand how the mixture of the juice changes. Uh, you know, like if you're doing like a 50-50 blend or, or whatever, like how, how much different of a vape that is, they don't understand that. So right. um, actually, uh, Blue Collar, uh, shout out to Blue Collar too, everybody. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah Blue okay. Collar. Yeah, yeah. We're going to shout a lot of people <laughs> out today because there's been a lot of people part of the story. But uh, that was probably... And you know Vapor Mill too, actually Vapor Mill. If you guys know Bill Vault or, or Kevin Price, um, those guys are awesome guys. They're out from out in Colorado, and they're in a couple shops locally too. Super good line. If you uh, you know are looking for something new, try it out. But uh, shout out to the guys at Vapor Mill too. Well, yeah, there we go. All right. So um, those are like the first lines we started carrying, and I mean Kevin Price really was a is a big part of helping me understand the industry too because obviously out west it was definitely uh more complex at that time we're a little um, behind the time sometimes yeah yeah for sure cincinnati area mark twain said if uh, the world ended in cincinnati would find out three years later <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was mark twain's era he you knew, know he <laughs> yeah. knew what was up yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's kind of how it started um and then next thing i know uh all the tobacco stuff i couldn't keep up with the vape stuff so like and then myself i started to change and start to get rid of the tobacco and not use the tobacco and right started vaping more and uh one day we're driving through mount orb which uh, i you know some people watching will know mount orb but mount orb is a town uh that's kind of on the brink of becoming something big like it's uh slowly growing into something epic exactly like there might be a taco bell there within the next five years well there Ooh. is a taco is there a yeah, taco there's bell. a taco bell they have la roses and uh, do they have a stuff. white castle not yet but they're then yeah they're not yeah. hitting big or time chipotle yet. yeah i mean yeah. Chipotle. they need a chipotle out there so hotheads sorry <laughs> something any <laughs> burrito, Cudoba, like. for sure oh yeah see all three guys don't like the same thing there's, there's too many burrito chipotle anymore man I gave up on Chipotle a long time ago. I, I actually got some free coupons coming from them because I tweeted them pictures of what I got from the Florence Mall Road location. Mm. Yeah. Avoid the Florence Mall location of Chipotle. It's terrible. Like, the dude that was making my bowl pulled meat back out of my bowl because he thought it was too much. I'm like, dude, are you going to put that in your 401k? Are you going to retire on that? Like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> like, this. let me have the fucking steak, yeah. dude. Yeah, you already threw yeah, it in stingy. there. They're stingy with the meat, man. They, they are. Want, they don't want to give you none of that. <laughs> so uh, you're driving through Mount Orb. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah I was, <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. I would have never remembered that. But, yeah, I was driving through Mount Orb and uh, seen a building for rent. And I was like, man, you know, let's uh, let's just drop the tobacco, drop it all, and, uh, and just open up a vape shop. So uh, that's kind of how it started, man. And, I mean, it, just from day one, it, it's uh, it's been a big thing. Um when, let me ask you this: When you switched over uh, from not only tobacco but to the vape stuff, did you notice a decline in the tobacco sales? Oh yeah, in the in the first shop, yeah, I did for sure. Like the tobacco was, uh, I noticed like half the shop was started to turn into a vape shop. Like it was like, uh, you know, all the little ego pins started coming out, and the the CE fours and the you know, little replaceable uh, coil tanks and uh, yeah, it just like started blowing up. Um, did you, did you have customers that would come in and buy the tobacco stuff and then eventually sure quit did. doing that and buying the vape stuff? Sure did, and that's that's why like uh, that's what it's all about, right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean sometimes you'll hear like people say, oh, if they are a tobacco shop, they shouldn't carry vape stuff. But uh, honestly, like it it was a big thing. Like people would come in and yeah, they would buy a pack of cigarettes or whatever. But then they're asking like, what is that? What's this stuff like? And then they noticed, like, you know, I wasn't smoking now. Like, I, I had a vape pen, and, you know, because we actually had, you could smoke in that shop. Right. Or whatever. So, like, 
instead of smoking cigarettes in the shop, I started vaping in the shop, you know, and this is the time when, like, Atlantis, the Atlantis, uh, uh, first tank came out, the Southern tank, uh, I can't think. I'm on the radio, so I can't think of it. It happens. Either. I can't think of it either, but I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was like that first sub ohm tank, uh, uh, Aspire Atlantis. That's, it was the Atlantis V1, the first Atlantis tank. Yeah. That's right around the time when, when the vape stuff started taking over at my shop. And uh, so that's when we decided to go to Mount Orban. And we got a bigger building, and, it, you know, we got good room in there. Jay's been out there. Uh, so it just kind of fell right into place, honestly. It was just like it was meant to be. And, I mean, I swear the, the grand opening, there was people lined up down the street to get in. And we were giving away, like, 50 free uh, Ego pens. We were giving away 50 free Ego pens. And uh, uh, it just lined them up down the road. And there were people that doubted, like, oh, there's a, a vape shop in Mount Orb. Like, That's never going to last. Ne- they're never going to be around. Like, And we brought so much life to the little strip that we're in, uh, just doing these events and uh, we're big into live music, and that's who this is, Seeing the Funnies. It's a local band uh, from uh, Cincinnati, and uh, they played the shop a few times. But we're big into live music. That's something Hell that's yeah. different. Yeah, Motel Faces was the band that was there the night that we came out. Murdered it on the guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were really good. They gave away a ton of CDs and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a good time, for sure. Uh, Kelso drug us out there. Like, I had no interest in going to Mount Orb, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> He's like, I'll drive. And then I seen his car, and I was like, no, I'll drive. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude, at the time, he had this car that had, uh, like, the top of his hood was gone. So all you could see was, like, the skeleton and, the, like, the uh, the insulation that goes into a car hood. <laughs> and I was like, nah, dude, I'm not riding in that. Right. I, my, you want to make sure you get there. Yeah, right? exactly. And, uh, well, more importantly, if we if we got there, I wanted to make sure we got home. Yeah. Shout out to get... Kelso. Shout out to Kelso, too. Come on, guys. Nobody, on. Nobody's clapping for that fucker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to give a shout out to him, though. He he uh, he comes out. He just wants to win that money, though. That's what he wants to do. He don't come Nothing out to... wrong with money. Man. Yeah, he doesn't come out to show love to Sonny's vape shop, though. You know what I mean? He just No, nah, I'm just kidding. He's a good dude. But yeah, no, we had a, we had a great time out there that night. Comp yeah. was fun. It, uh, I don't think anybody complained about how it was officiated, which right. is uh, something that plagues comps. You know, people yeah, that does. don't win or people whose friends don't win tend to complain about the way yeah. things are run or judged or whatever. But it, I, I don't think I heard any complaints that night. Man. Yeah, we try to run it straight down the middle, man. We <coughs> like to, like... Uh, I mean, even Steve Day is uh, shout out to Steve Day too. Galaxy Bay. Show, show some love. Yeah, Steve show Day. some love to Steve Day. For yeah, sure. I clap for Steve. I know for sure. <laughs> uh, he's come out and judged uh, multiple comps, you know. And I, we like to have people out there that will call it right down the middle and no bullshit take to it. Yeah. Uh, you you lose, you lose. You shake hands when you're done, and uh, you know uh, you respect the the other people that are in the comp and that are watching, and uh, you know it's really grown into a huge thing. Um, uh, even our state rep is going to be at this, this. Really? Time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he'll stick around for the whole comp, but yeah, he's going to show up. But especially with us uh, in Ohio, we're facing yeah, it's a huge big right tax. now in Ohio. Yeah. yeah, facing a huge tax. So Doug Green is our state rep for Brown County, and um, he totally supports the vaping industry. And uh, it's super cool to have a relationship with him like that. And I mean, you've been hearing from like some of the the bigger advocates. Uh, about joining your community and stuff and I think that's something that we're super strong in uh, and it's just because of, you know we've done business in Brown County for a long time my dad has a business out there and, uh, and a little bit of political but, sway to get well, him out I mean you know <laughs> yeah I mean not really you know because at first you know they're like oh this guy's young you know uh, uh, you know and they kind of expect some negative things from you sometimes I think if you're young and you own a business especially sure. if you're passionate right. about something you get right. angry and yeah, Shit yeah. Shit can go negative real so fast. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had to kind of prove myself to people and, and do things for the community. And, you know, we've sponsored different things. And uh, not to brag or anything, but during Thanksgiving, we give out a bunch of, uh, of Thanksgiving dinners. And we worked out a deal with Kroger. Kroger's super cool. Uh, they give it to us at cost. So, uh, you know, I mean, we do a lot of things in the community, too, to kind of just, you know, I mean, we do it because it's the right thing to do. Right. Uh, and... I think people kind of are seeing that now, and uh, it was crazy the other day. Like, I guess Doug Green had met with uh, like a tax commissioner, and uh, they were kind of like talking pretty bad about vaping. And uh, he messaged me on Facebook and was like, "And then this is your state rep. I mean, it's right. kind of like 
He messaged, which I mean, that's how I communicate with him sometimes. But it was just weird. He, he texted me, said, I need you to call me. And I was like, what? Like, the state rep wants me. Like, I paid my taxes, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, so, like, I called him, and uh, and uh, he just wanted wanted me to, to get some information together so he could fire back at these guys. And uh, a lot of it is, you know, just uh, falsified uh, studies and different things, you know, they come up with. Uh, we're marketing the kids. Fake news. Yeah, fake news stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, we got with uh, Frank K. Hall and, and James Jarvis, and we actually do have a, a, a legislator assistant uh you know which some people call him a lobbyist right um which is super cool so i want to uh, give a shout out to ohvta too there's uh sometimes there's a little negative sometimes I, I hear like rumblings what are they doing with our money or what and i mean i'm not trying to like uh instigate any of that but what i'm trying to say is that uh i mean they're doing everything they can to fight for our right in ohio right and these guys are super good guys and, you know, I want to, like, call out some of the businesses in, in Ohio and, and uh, especially vape businesses. They need to join and help help the fight because... And James is pretty good about keeping everybody yeah. updated on wh- exactly what they are doing. For sure. Like, he does live videos on Facebook and, and postings in all the different vape groups and whatnot, like, giving us updates and where they are in the fight. And yeah. So, uh, I don't know that there's a, a lobbying group from any other industry that keeps the community involved in that industry as updated as, J- as James has. Yes. Now, I don't recall, before he became the president or whatever, I don't recall seeing anything from the previous guy, but that doesn't mean he right. didn't do it. But James right. is on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. James is super on it. And he was the right guy for the job. And, and uh, I mean, it said it in the votes, too. You know, a lot of people that were a part of HVTA, uh, uh, you know, voted for James because uh, he's just out there, you know, and he gets out there and he's not afraid to talk to people. And it can be intimidating, you know, when you're meeting with, uh, you know, a congressman or, or it, it is intimidating. It is. I mean, uh, you know, I was intimidated when the state rep texted me on Facebook. Imagine if you're sitting down and you're having to talk and defend your business. And right. uh, I totally trust James and uh, to do that. And I think, you know, if you're a business in Ohio uh, that sells or, or makes or distributes uh, vapor products, you need to be a part of it. I mean, it's like. Thirty dollars or forty dollars a month, or you know what I mean? It's like, what is that? That's all you need to do to f- do your part, right? Uh, so I, you know, and I know Kentucky has a, a group too, right? Oh. Yeah, KSFA, yeah. yeah, the Kentucky Smoke Free Association. So I mean, we're even, we're not under the threat that Ohio is right no, now. No, no, not at all. But I mean, you guys want to stand together, and if there's shops out here floating around in Kentucky or whatever, they need to be a part of that, just and be proactive. Uh, so that these little taxes, you can, uh, you know, st- <laughs> eggshells. Studio I'm holding on eggshells right now. <laughs> right. And just the uh, the idea, I think a lot of people have the idea that it's someone else's battle. You know what right. I mean? Like, I'm just going to keep going and buying from the shop, and they'll take care of it. Everything's fine. Uh, which uh, we heard at the convention uh, from the, the lady from Title in Pennsylvania that that's not how it works. Right. If you don't yeah. fight government agents end up showing up taking your inventory and then demanding money from you on the spot right uh, so that that was one of the, like the negative uh you know things that, that that we heard there uh but i come to you from oregon with a positive story where the shops got together and their their trade association fought mm-hmm. and won and there are there's awesome. no taxes on vape products in and Oregon. they were going under it for a while i remember they yeah, were like no, under fire like in oregon i remember reading stories and uh seeing things like they were totally totally under fire so that's awesome and that's yeah. why you know we need to as you know kentucky and ohio we need to to stand together and uh and do do it now don't wait until it's over and you got to try to repeal it yeah right. no, now right. is definitely the time yeah so like, not just uh, here but in all states right you know yeah, any, all states, any state sure. where they're trying to put some shit together like yeah that. now, yeah, now. Or- oregon they did regulate a little harder than the fda did like you're not supposed to be able to vape in the shop like right. that's one of the things there was the oregon clean air act where you can right. smoke or i vape heard that inside. Yeah. yeah i heard but that. uh the shops we went to we vape like crazy kinda inside. Away, yeah, yeah kind of get away with it a little bit <laughs> Um, yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, I hate to see that right go away. I would hate to see that right, like, vaping in the shop. I mean, imagine walking into your favorite shop and you can't you can't vape. 
they would totally shut down people hanging out there. Which yeah. a lot of shops yeah. have that. You know, people right. that hang out. There's that sense of community, that sense of home. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I felt that when I was at your shop, for awesome. sure. Awesome. And uh, I think part of it was you guys brought in pizza. That helped. I'm a yeah, fat, yeah. I'm a fat guy, so <laughs> we uh, we try wait, to hold on, hold on, wait, wait. You bring in pizza? <laughs> yeah, we got pizza. Why haven't I been there? Yet? It's like two dollars for like half a pizza too. Like uh, yeah, dude, giant damn. slices. We have a pizza place next door to us, so that's kind of where that comes from. We want to involve them in it, and uh, right, you know, we want we want to keep people in the shop too. You know, I mean, if somebody leaves the shop and goes get something to eat or. You know, they might not come back or whatever. We yeah. want to keep everybody hanging out. You can and keep them there without time. keeping any dollars out of their hands. Right. Of the of the pizza place. Right, exactly. Yeah. There's, know, there's that, definitely that feel there that, like, all the other local businesses were involved in the event yeah. that we went to there. So that was cool. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're big on community, and, and uh, that's kind of how the live music thing came along, too, is we're right next door to a recording studio. Right. So, I mean, uh, and it's a recording studio in the back and a uh, uh, music store in the front so stage three instruments want to give a shout out to john hart stage three instruments. those guys fucking rock and uh yeah like uh we hosted because of the way our shop was set up uh it's a little bit bigger than his shop and uh they had like their uh two-year anniversary and brought a couple bands in, and then it just, after that, it just kind of started, and then we built the stage, and uh, we're actually about to get our own sound. Yeah. Now. So nice. that should be in, like, next week. It should be up. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, it's not quite Bogart's level, but, I <laughs> yeah, mean, it's, it's really, get, it's, yeah, it's smaller, <laughs> but, I mean, it's really starting to gain that momentum. I mean, we got Pepsi to sponsor this, which they've done it before, but it's a big thing. I mean, uh, to have other businesses uh, sponsor your events, you know, right? Especially uh, one as big as PepsiCo, right? That's a that's a pretty large corporation. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I mean, of course, they're not going to throw any cash or anything, but they got stuff we can raffle off, and uh, you know, the tattoo shops around there, they all throw in stuff. To, uh, I know. wear my shirt that I got all the time, man. Yeah. What What is the name it's, of that uh, shop? It's Studio 413. Studio 413, It's buy tattoos, not heroin. Yeah, see, that's what what it it says on the front, so I see that. I don't see what it says on the back. (laughs) Yeah, and I mean, it just says the the shop Shop, name and stuff. But, yeah, I've got one, too. That's my excuse for not knowing the shop name, even though I wear the shirt all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's super cool. Uh, Dusty Dusty is an amazing tattoo artist. I don't have any tattoos, but if I ever did... He'd be the guy to tattoo me for sure. I mean, this dude did like a. Uh, you ever seen the movie Tombstone? Oh yeah. Uh, Wyatt Earp. Yeah. He did a, a Wyatt Earp on this guy's arm. I mean, it was like it was like Wyatt Earp was standing there staring at you, dude. Like it was, and he did a Willie Nelson like that too. Willie Nelson. Damn. Um, I, it was like Willie Nelson was right there, man. I mean, he's like an <laughs> awesome uh, portrait artist. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we try to get everybody involved, man, and make it a, a good thing and a, a fun time. Uh, so, so let me ask you this. Uh, as a shop owner, what what kind of hurdles have you overcome that have been thrown your way? I mean, how, and then not only what hurdles, but ha- how did you overcome those hurdles? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I really don't focus on the hurdles, man. We just kind of run right through it, right like a brick wall, dude. I, I right. want to attain things uh, in my life, so uh, you know, there's goals that I have set for myself, and uh, I'll run through a brick wall to get to them. It, it doesn't matter to me, you know what I mean? Uh, right. Yeah. Whatever little hurdle come along, you know, uh, it just doesn't matter, man. I mean, you just fight through it and 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 run through it. Uh, like I said, you know, maybe one hurdle could be that I'm young. Uh, so I've had to deal with some of that where people discount you a little bit because, you know, oh, like, yeah. that guy doesn't know what he's doing or uh, wait till you see this. Like, dude, I've been doing this like 12 years, man. I mean, it's like something I've always wanted to do is own my own business. So, like, right. I feel like everything I've done in my life has led up to that uh, to, to uh, educate me and give me the skills I need to, to make it happen. And, uh, you know, part of it, you know, it's fun the vape industry is fun you know so that's another thing like um instead of focusing on you know some of that stuff you focus on the positive things and uh you know i mean like i'd I'd never know this guy if it wasn't for vaping i wouldn't be here sitting here if it wasn't for vaping. that's true i mean you're making friends and 
I do want to give you guys a shout out too for doing a, a podcast like this. And and like I said, you know earlier, you guys could do a podcast on anything, but you chose to do it on vaping and get the awareness out there. And uh, you know, I, I highly uh, uh, support that and respect that that you guys did that. Well, thank you. There are three other shows on the podcast network. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> we don't do just vaping. You know, we do, we do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Right. KYHBB, the yeah. flagship is uh, can be anything from about eating cereal out of a butthole yeah. to uh, hey. comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> anything and everything really goes on that one. Uh, then we got we got Jay's show, the Out of Step podcast. Yeah, which has been on hiatus for a while. Which but, happens. Uh, I've been stealing him, using him for this show. So right. He ain't had time for anything else. <laughs> I haven't, man. The fucking brutal travel schedule has been killing me. You've been all over, man. Dude, the you Yakima, can't help that. Did I tell you about Yakima? Dude, have you ever heard yeah. of Yakima, Washington? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Never heard of that one. It's a little town in the middle of the mountains. And uh, my travel schedule was this. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and drive to Dayton Airport. From there to Chicago was like an hour on the plane, two-hour layover. Five-hour flight from Chicago to Seattle, two-hour layover, and then an hour flight to Yakima. And uh, so I got to Yakima at 2.30 in the afternoon, their time. Uh, my show was at 9 p.m. their time. So I had like six hours, but I was afraid to take a nap because I was afraid I wouldn't wake up. Go and do an hour and a half, which is the longest I've ever been contracted to do, which I didn't even, I didn't even read a contract. You know what I mean? Because they're all the same. And then right. the dudes, I see the, the time is scheduled for two hours for the show. I'm like, is there anybody else on this one? Because usually at, at right. the big conventions I do, it's just me. And uh, he's like, nah, man. He's like, you get an hour and a half, you can go long if you want. I'm like, I'm not trying to go any longer than an hour and a half. <laughs> so I did an hour and a half standing up. You know, so I'm dead on my feet, dude. And uh, I, I get back to my hotel room at like midnight. Uh, had to be up 4 a.m. their time to go back to the airport to do the same shit on the way back. So, I mean, there's no time and, and stuff like that. Right. And, uh, yeah, so there's definitely... I've been way busier, and, and, and when I <laughs> say, that's a good thing. Though, and, really. and there's not even downtime during that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm playing, dude. I'm on the uh, on the American Airlines flights, dude. They wanted thirty six dollars to use their Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. No yeah. fucking what? way. Yeah. Thirty six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what that. I wanted to ask you, Jay. I mean, I know this is your old show, but I got questions too. Yeah. What, fire uh, away, man. <laughs> what uh, what? Well, you got a contract now, and you're traveling doing shows, or what? What's I mean, going shows, on? shows like, generally are individual contracts. Right. Uh, which the smaller shows, there's not a contract. But when there's more money involved, there's mm. if, if they're buying my airfare, there's going to be a contract. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just because they want to make sure that their end is safe, and I want to make sure that my end is safe. And I have an agent that does the bigger shows like that, but right. I still handle with no contract or just a, a verbal agreement with all basically all the local clubs right but you're like traveling like is, and this is just shows that you've worked out or your agent has or uh, yeah the, a, the agency the most of the traveling stuff is through the agency so i was in yakima three four like weeks. at like a funny bone or something or what like, these are some, like, these are mainly recovery conventions the ones okay. that i that i've been traveling real far for right. uh so, like, the farthest club I've been to is the Syracuse Funny Bone in Syracuse, oh, okay. New York, uh, which is, like, a 12-hour drive about, yeah. uh, which is – I'd I'd rather drive. If it's 12 hours or less, I'm driving. I hate being in there. Hate For it. Sure. Absolutely hate it. I don't like Which, it that trip to Syracuse is actually what got Amber and I vaping because we couldn't smoke in a rental car. And uh, Jerry, right here, hooked her up with oh, a – Oh, thank uh, you. With an <laughs> – uh, e Leaf 80 in an Arctic tank. It was a 50. 50, 50 E Leaf yeah. 50 in an Arctic tank, and she never smoked again. That's super cool. That's and, super cool. I'll never forget when she hit me up. She was like, So I wanted to ask you about this vape thing. And she told me, like, Yeah, we're going to the rental car. We can't smoke in it, blah, blah, blah. She's like, Do you think, think I could borrow one for the trip? And I was like, Fuck yeah, I'd be more than happy to hook you up. And she came over, and I ran her through. I was like, Look, this, this is what you're going to have to do. This is how you change out the coil, this and that. Right. This is how you put the juice in. And then I, I never thought it would turn in to, to what it's turned into now. I right. mean, her and Jay, have, they're... Jerry created they're, a monster. Yeah, I created a monster. And there's no way I could yeah, ever tear like it they're sponsored <laughs> by vape companies now and stuff. Yeah. Like, they, they've far exceeded <laughs> I mean, anything I ever had in mind. Yeah, you just want to quit smoking cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told her if she quit smoking, I would quit dipping. So that's what got me on the 
on the deal. Plus, some of the flavors of the stuff sounded pretty good. They're you know fucking I mean? tasty, bro. And uh, so I guess it was like three or four months we rocked the Arctic tanks. I went and bought basically the same setup, except I had an old school Sig 150, and right. uh, which I bought used. And uh, I don't know. Super, super uh, solid mod for sure. Yeah, dude, it worked yeah, real it, good. It, the, I love it. The guy yeah. I sold it to. <laughs> yeah. The guy I sold it to uses it today. Yeah, oh. I mean, uh, I know somebody who actually bought one from my shop and uh, was driving. He, he's a, a biker, so he was riding his Harley down the highway, and the Sig Sigeli fell out of his bag, and the door did break, but it, like, rolled down the highway, and uh, he went back and got it, and he still vapes on it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he had to hi- like, he had to find a new door, but other than that, I mean, it was like, the thing still, like, fires like normal. Then uh, we went to, uh, we were out at Club Vape in Florence, and I always said that I would never do the rebuildable stuff just because it looked like a pain in the ass. And it does look like that from the outside before you start doing it. I still uh, don't do it. I just buy pre-made shit. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, We ended up getting these Limitless RDTA Pluses out at Club Vape because we we went through a bad... uh, a bad run coil, uh, a run of bad coils from uh, from Horizon Tech. They just burn up on us in like a matter of hours. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, we happens. can't keep spending this kind of money. And so then we bought the rebuildables, and then we ran into a, a box mod company on Instagram called Scarab, who makes uh, PWM and DNA lipo boxes, and uh, that fucking opened up the world. Because when you got 16.8 volts with an accurate PWM, you know, I mean, you can mm. actually turn it down get 16 hours of, of life out of them so we fell in love with that and then uh <clears throat> i got i had a rig tube before then so i started yeah. building for that and uh now i have way too much stuff man no, uh, no. i'm actually <laughs> going to go pick up uh two <clears throat> two series boxes from uh ben and adam at no rest today oh okay and uh shout out to no <laughs> rest mods right yeah <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give them some love, you know. Ben and Adam are both great dudes. They make yeah. a solid, dev- uh, solid device, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, they make a couple solid devices. Uh, yeah. The one I'll have is just regular, straight series, which I've never had a series box before. So I'm pretty excited to work on building in that. Because like yeah. once I started building coils, like I jumped both feet in. You know what I mean? Right. And so I don't build anything super intricate, right. you know. Uh, Give yourself some credit. You can you can build some shit though. I mean, like basically fused Clapton's <laughs> uh, frame staples, shielded Clapton's transformer coils, and, and the guy that taught me how to build all that is Chris Yan from Vapor Smith. So shout out to Chris at, at Vapor Smith. Yeah, yeah give some love. love. There you give go. Some love. <laughs> <laughs> got to, got to. Uh, we, yeah, we carry uh, we carry that juice line. Uh, actually, it's a super solid line too. It is too. Strawberry champagne, man. I can't keep it in stock. I yeah, can. see, I like the lemon cookie the best. Yeah, I mean, we sell that one, too, but I, I don't know what it is. That strawberry uh, champagne just uh, grabbed our customers' taste buds. Like, they just <laughs> buy it. Like, it's crazy. I'll up the order every time, and it, it always sells out. So I found uh, that any, anything like a like anything strawberry, yeah. like strawberry milk is like a huge thing. Like, like I know so many dudes that are like, oh, yeah, I got this new... Uh, new new juice. I'm like, is it strawberry milk? He's like, well, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, no, and, and anytime I get one, I'm like, man, that's so good. Like, yeah. why don't I do this all the time? But yeah, I'm a butterscotch guy. Mm. I love butterscotch. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's been my shit for. Uh, right after I started vaping, I got a good butterscotch. I was yeah. like, oh man, it's like I'm eating a fucking butterscotch candy it's so right, good with the yellow wrapper yeah like that, those things the yeah. barber used to hand out like exactly back in the day yeah but but strawberry milk i mean it's it's one of those it's like oh yeah it's so good yeah so good it is it is super good yeah strawberry is a popular flavor watermelon and stuff like that too so. yeah so we've been talking about the shopping events you have an event coming up yeah. april first from what i understand yeah. the uh the 5 guys are going to be out there yeah I, I just happened to run across that on Instagram yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Five O's going to be out there. Uh, I hate to say it, that's one juice line I've never had my hands on. Super good. Dude, I've the all, apple fritter one that they have. Best apple fritter on the market. Fuck. Yeah. It's pretty good. If you like apple fritters or donuts of any sort, like, right. grab, try that apple fritter. It's super good, super good. So, Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I, we're excited. We're happy. We've we got a lot of uh, sponsors, and uh, Five O's one, and... Uh, you know, Omslaw, they sponsored the event. Uh, Cloud Coma, Jay Roseman and them, they did. Uh, so, uh, 
you know, Incognito, of course, too. Uh, they sponsored it. Um, so, I mean, that we couldn't do it without that. We couldn't do it, uh, you know, we're just a thousand dollars. You win a thousand dollars. That's, a, he- that's a, a hell of a, of, a, of a payout right there. I mean, that's uh, paying a car payment and your house rent, ma- or your rent money or something. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, and then the second place prize is two hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. So aftershock, which I don't know if you guys have seen that juice floating around. Uh, I don't think yeah, I have. A, is it a blue raspberry lemonade? I think there's one that that's really, a, a really lemonade. Uh, there's uh, snozberries, which is I haven't is tried that, good. but I've seen it. So like, uh, they. Uh, uh, we were like one of the first shops to carry them, and uh, you know he was super happy with how it's selling. So he went ahead and and sponsored and and is putting up the two hundred fifty dollars for second place. Nice, it's pretty sweet. Man. So yeah, I mean even if uh, in my world now, uh, I don't do second place, but everybody <laughs> kind of got like, you know, upset because I wasn't doing second place. Well, right. second place, but. In my world, second place, you're the first loser. Yeah, if you're not right. first, you're last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, I want to go fast. Yeah, but I mean, you know, uh, 250 bucks—that's a lot even to, to win. So even if you don't win, you can win. So, uh, and then plus all the stuff people are bringing to raffle, and uh, you know, I did say I wanted to make the rules announcement too for that. So uh, yeah, let's, yeah, we have a guy in the live feed get demanding the rules right now <laughs> are they really are they <laughs> tell me the rules and then all kinds of exclamation points <laughs> who said that that's david scott oh okay shout out to david uh, scott yeah we should make him wait a little bit longer just <laughs> <laughs> no. uh basically uh what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna do a single 18650 tube only so uh there will be no, none of this stuff or, you know, none of that three, four battery uh, nonsense. <laughs> uh, you know, we want to see some skill. Uh, we want to see uh, some build skill, too. Right. So we're going to actually uh, put a limit on the ohms. Um, it's going to be anywhere from 1.2 to, oh, sorry, 0.12 to 0.1. Has to be in between that. Uh, we're going to check Addies and we're going to hold them as well. And the reason why we're kind of doing this is because we want to be, we have some of the hardest hitters coming out and and and, and joining our competition. For $1,000, you're going to have a lot. Right. right. Yeah. So, like, uh, you know, we want to line our rules up with how some of the bigger comps would do, you know, like the ECCs and uh, some of these big comps and that's what they do and i mean we're not going to make you actually build it there that they do at the bigger comps you have to build it there right in front of them right uh now we're not going to take that far because that's a lot of time and a lot of room that we don't have right so, and not a ton of tables out right there. yeah and uh we kind of i got some tables extra ones too uh this time around we just kind of get it as it comes along right um but uh um yeah we're gonna limit that build we're going to check it and we're going to hold it and and in between rounds and all that stuff too so when you're done you give up your addy and uh you know that way it's like a a, a level playing field and i don't know if you guys know but running a comp is like a clusterfuck yeah so (laughs) i mean any type of tournament period expect that uh (laughs) so don't you know like (laughs) expect that especially because this would be our first time like actually holding the addies and stuff so but I think it just I think it does like help uh eliminate some of that bitching too. Right. You know, the like, only oh, the only uh, bitching the, you're gonna hear is from guys who have rough necks. Right. Because you probably don't have any way to check those. Right. Because it's a twenty four millimeter threaded, it's not a five ten pen. Right. So if you're listening, get an Addy with a five ten. Yeah. Yep. Because I don't I doubt I don't know that there is anything you can check the uh Right. Like you a can rough neck. The ohm on. Yeah. And yeah, we definitely need to see that ohm for sure. We want to make sure, like I said, that everything's. Because if you do have somebody come out with like a rig V2 with, with a rough neck mm-hmm. and they win, everyone is going to complain. So, right. so yeah, keep your uh, keep your rough necks at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make it 510 so we can check the ohms. Uh, and, uh, you know. It's big money, man. That's big money. So I want to see. I want to see some skill. I want to see. I want to see some guys like have to put in some work, and not just have to 
throw your four batteries in your RX 300 and come out and blow big ass cloud. Everybody can do that. Right. right. Let's see what you can do with a single tube. Uh, and sometimes it might scare some people away, but I mean, uh, you know, whatever's whatever. Like it's a thousand dollars. So. Uh, Is there an entry fee for no, this? For this comp? No, it's so totally, totally free. free. Totally free to get in. Totally free to get in the comp. Uh, as long as you have, you know, the the uh, regulations or whatever for the comp, you meet those, you can get in. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. And I'll make a post in, in my event page uh, for that event uh, about the, the rules, too, in case anybody missed it. But I just wanted to, you know, throw it out there to you guys when we were doing this. So Got the exclusive. Yeah. The drop. Yeah. We're good on exclusives, man. Well, yeah, we have we had them a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's super cool. Hell super yeah. Cool. You guys are doing the right thing for sure. We're trying to anyway. Yeah. <laughs> trying to. We have fun doing it. Yeah. yeah. We uh, always a good time. The uh, see, we like having and and we like to invite juice manufacturers on because usually they bring juice. Yes. Right. <laughs> and well, I, that's always I, a good thing. I'm a slacker and I totally forgot everything. I was actually going to bring <laughs> you guys some stuff, so I was like rushing out the door, but it happens. Um, man. I do have some things for you guys though. If you it's guys not a requirement. Out, whenever you yeah. come out. Uh, We'll make sure I get them to you. That'll, I'll even mail, mail some stuff to you or whatever. That'll work. I think I'll probably come out to that event here. on the first. I'm gonna try. It's on a Saturday. Awesome. So yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't typically have a whole lot going on on a Saturday. Yeah, so. so long as I don't get booked somewhere that's paying me. Right. That's the. Uh, that's the only thing that ever stops me from coming to vape events on weekends. I like yeah. going and hanging out. You know what I mean? For I've, sure. I've never won a cloud comp, but I enjoy it because it's silly. It, it is. It. Si- Were you in the one you came out to, or did you yeah. just watch? No, I I, I got in it. Participated. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I tried out the old uh, dump tank. I just thought it was funny to use that giant dump tank in in yeah. the comp. <laughs> and uh, that dump tank's just it's hilarious. Yeah, it's it's big. It whistles. Yeah. Big as hell, yeah. yeah I've, the, seen, uh, I've seen it, yeah. But I like the I like the VCST better. I got the 36 millimeter VCST now, and the mm. cloud and flavor production in that is, is better from <clears throat> the style of building that I do. I'm sure there's a way you can make the dump tank better than I mm. I make it, but the uh, it just doesn't it doesn't put out. You know what I mean? Even with a four cell lipo with a PWM, it right? Just doesn't put out what the VCST does or any dripper. You know the, the VCST yeah. fucking chucks that's where it's at yeah for sure what do you guys think about like these sky hooks <laughs> and stuff coming out like With where the they built RDTA they basically boxes? yeah they built basically built a box around you know like an a, rdta yeah an yeah. rdta like so what you do know, you guys if think they would do out? like a glass lined that would be better because yeah. you can't use like citrus flavors in the plastic containers that's in them uh i don't like that you can't just swap it out for something different like you're committed to that device yeah you know what i mean you're committed yeah, you to can't that change attic. that yeah you can't uh, now most of them i know i'm pretty sure the skyhook and the uh the ijoy rdta box both have multiple decks that you can put on it but it's yeah. still it's the same cap you right. know what i mean so the airflow is going to be the same on every one of them i yeah. probably will never have one right uh i can't imagine using anything other than like a scarab or a no rest at this point right you know i'm, I'm just used to that power you know, uh, the Scarab box will handle 3,500 watts. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't imagine any vape being enjoyable at 3,500 watts. But no. the box won't pop. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, whereas uh, some of those cheaper Chinese regulated boxes, ah, like I've seen them, seen stuff happen. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, He's seen some shit. Yeah. <laughs> like we were hanging out at the shop one night, and uh, a gentleman just wanted to check the ohms on a build that he had made. And uh, he made it for a tube, uh, and it was a little lower than it should have been. Uh, but this OSA box uh, read it at .07 and then auto-fired it. It mm. shouldn't have even fired it at all. But it auto-fired it, and he mm. threw it out the front door, and we waited until that battery drained yeah. before anybody went out. I had out. to do that with an Ego one time, an Ego pen. Really? It, like, got stuck, and it, usually they have a cutoff. Like, you right, know, you 10 can't seconds hold it. usually, yeah. yeah. So, like, this thing, like, started glowing red. It was so hot, and I, like, buried it in the mud <laughs> out back of the shop. I was like, yeah. Like, if, even if it does blow up, like, this is going to be under the dirt. Like, Jesus, now, peace. I would use one of those Skyhook or RDTA boxes in a pinch. Yeah, for know? sure. But uh, I just thought it was cool. Like, it's basically dripping without having to do it. You know, I mean, right. it's like just, you know, uh, 200 watts on the box. Uh, you probably would never have to use 200 watts on it. Right. But, um, 
Yeah, I thought it was super cool. I, I think it's cool. We sell a lot of those at the shop. Now, we're, at the, like we're at the beginning them. of the technology on those, though. So, I'm sure the next couple of generations that come out, yeah. you know, maybe they'll put that glass juice reservoir in there. Or yeah, they'll try to change it around, you yeah. uh, know. Maybe do multiple caps so there could be different airflows. You know, it's just uh, you're committed to both the atomizer and the mod. Right. You know, that's the only downside that I see to it. But I think the price point on them is pretty good. So yeah, like 80 bucks or something. Yeah, for something. somebody who's who's strapped or uh, is not sure about building or whatever, yeah. uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it'd be a good, like, secondary mod. Like, maybe uh, you like dripping, but you just don't like to, uh, you know, have to drip all the time or whatever. And, you know, something maybe you could just ride around with. or as, as far as dripping goes... I started out with a tank, and then, like Jay said, a lot of people are scared about building. And I, I it seems I, like a pain in the ass. Yeah, it seems like a hassle. It, it really is. does. It uh, is to me. So I'm <laughs> tired of it. I'm like, God, I got to build another set. Like, yeah. Right. Uh, but uh, uh, I got my first, uh, my first dripper, and you know, got some wire and some stuff, and made me a coil, and whatnot. And I was like, eh, you know, this is cool. And I seen what other people can do, and I'm like, I don't have the patience for it. Yeah. You know, like Jay takes his time he built some really cool shit right i i just don't have the patience you for need it. to get spider coils that's what i uh no, is it what's what's spider? is it that's what club eight sells right they yeah, have uh, cobra coils cobra oh, okay. coils cobra yeah now. Okay. yeah um and then inferno is another local yeah they, 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 they also at least one of the guys yeah. is local i don't know everybody on that right team, but like that's like a build team though that there's several guys yeah. that, right but i mean uh, you know I, I always buy just pre-made coils now and mm-hmm. i only want run one coil a lot of people are like oh, how, you do how, single coil. yeah I just do just one coil i mean it's oh, just, okay, just cool. one single coil in there uh and a lot of people are like how come you do that it's like i like a higher ohm like jay he's like yeah i can build like a point one oh, you know i, know. I know. rock that shit and it's like yeah yeah, it's cool i'm rocking point two seven that's still too high for me like uh when, when i when i go and look for a pre-made coil i look for something around like two and a half because when I split it up, it doubles it, and I, I right. get five ohms, and I, right. I, I love that's five ohms. That's just what you like. That's just that's you mean my point preference. Five? I assume you mean point yeah, five. Point five. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, I mean, that's just my preference, mm-hmm. and uh, people are all the time like, how come you only run one? You know, how come, why don't you go lower? And it's like, it's just my preference, man. You know, I'm not right. I'm not in it for, like, chasing clouds. There's no, like, like right yeah. way to do it. Like, it, if yeah. it works for you, it works for you, however you exactly. vape. Exactly. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't see any problem with that at all, and uh, I'm a flavor chaser, so a lot of right. times I like to close my airflow off and uh, have a tighter draw, more like a cigarette. I use, like, an AIO box a lot. Uh, there's, you know, basically it's an AIO, but it's a box. Right. Uh, I use that kind of stuff. But Nautilus X is one of, one of the tanks I like, and you can run that on a 30-watt, 40-watt box, you know. But, um, you know, right now I have the Alien. It just has a little more battery uh, you know, life and stuff compared to some of the <coughs> smaller mods. So, uh, but I have a definitely have a collection. I have to limit myself. Like owning a shop, like you can just grab whatever you want, walk yeah. out with whatever. Like ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. So like, right. yeah, I like yeah. I gotta watch it. Like going out the chin at Global Vapors and seeing all that <laughs> stuff. And it's like, man, you know, I really want that. But I have to like limit myself for sure. I have to like stop myself. Um, usually. Like, if something new comes out that I want, I'll take the box that I'm using now and, like, hook somebody up with it, like a friend or whatever, um, and then get it. So that way I'm not, like, having, like, drawers full of, like, vape stuff. You're not looking like Jay. Well, I mean, my (laughs) juice game is probably up there, though. I mean, we've got kitchen drawers with bottles of juice in it. Like, just, I mean, it's just crazy. And I got, you know, juice all over the stores that I've, like, vaped, like, you know, some here and there. Right. It's like... Ah, it just gets crazy with the juice for sure. Yeah, I oh, think yeah. we might have more hardware than juice. Like I always keep. At one point, though, you had like yeah, we gave away a lot a ton of, juice. of stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but like a lot of it was won in raffles, and like I always keep right. the full line of hard hitters around, and uh, I keep Final Boss quite a bit. Which somebody local's got to pick up Final Boss. God damn Final it. Final Boss is good. The uh, the price point on it is good. It's right for our market. You know those uh, guys personally, or you just ordered it somewhere? Uh, well, I started off. I just I ran. I liked their logo and that I saw on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I entered one of their contests. Like, there's a ton of Instagram giveaways all the time. So I entered one, and I and I won the full line and thirty and thirty milliliter bottles. And uh, I was like, why the fuck does no one sell this? And uh, 
So then I, I started, like, I struck up a conversation with the dude, and uh, so I, I kind of know him now. Like, I wouldn't say right. that I really know him, because it's just been online, but... Uh, he's like your juice dealer now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, he's, he's the only he's one I order online. online from. You know, right. I just, I hate waiting for shit. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I hate yeah. it, so I don't order anything else online. I but, know. But yeah, Hard Hitters, Final Boss, and Ground Zero I, I, is pretty much what I have all the time now. Shout out to Ground Zero, guys. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and as far as advocacy goes, I don't know that there's any local company that does more than, than Chris and Rob do to try yeah, to sure. get everybody motivated and pushed and, and into that. For sure. Uh, I feel like everybody has, like, seasons to that. Like, you know, when, when someone is pushing it heavy uh, and then they kind of lay off a little bit, then it seems like other people just kind of step into that lane and, and keep it going. I feel like we got a pretty strong uh, vape uh, community in, in this area, like, uh, you know, Kentucky and Ohio and all that. Like, in the tri-state area. Yeah, in the say. tri-state period. So, like, uh, yeah, I mean, those guys do have done so much on, with that convention and uh, just everything. So, uh, you know, shout out to them, man. Love them guys. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, have their juice and, and uh, my, one of my favorites between jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like that watermelon, like candy. That's that, some good yeah, stuff right that, there. That, so I vape that a lot. I've my, turned my, a lot of people on to that, too. My go-to with them uh, up until here recently was always a sticky bomb from the yeah. Aftermath, Aftermath line. Aftermath line, yeah. yeah. It's like an orange Cinnabon, like those yeah. orange ones you get at the, the gro- back in the day. I, do they so even good. sell them anymore? I don't even know. If they I haven't sell seen one anymore. in a long time. Where you had the orange icing. That, uh, yeah. I never was a fan of, like, orange stuff, so that's not... But I do like the chain reaction. Yeah, chain reaction. They do. The Fiji apple. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, sweet stuff like yeah. that a lot of times. But right now, I got this in Kanye. White Mouse. White Mouse. It's pretty good. I tried so, it. It's, it's good stuff. Yeah, man. it's like a, a strawberry-filled fried donut is what it... You know, what the profile is. and I love it. I love it. It's good. Stra- strawberry, man. Going back to that. I know. It's a popular flavor. Well, strawberry is. And I jump around a lot, too, though. I mean, I'll have, you know, uh, I like, uh, you know, Hard Hitters, Modoc, and I vape on that a lot. Uh, they actually made an exclusive juice for us. It's called Bloody Mary. Ooh. I, the name throws it off. Right. But it's really, like, just strawberry, like a, a sour strawberry is what it is. That's strawberry once yeah. again yeah Bring it, it is yeah and actually my it, they named it after my girlfriend my girlfriend actually came up with the idea for it uh they they made it up for like a, a comp juice mm-hmm. and uh she got a hold of the bottle and vaped it and she's like we gotta we gotta have this like right uh, so uh they ended up making it for us so we still carry that and um you know hard hitter represent yeah. let's give a shout out to hard hitters too yeah, if we haven't yeah. done that already <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> so, so you say that's an exclusive. You can only get that at the Sunny's Vapes location. Yes, you can only get Bloody Mary, which is a sour strawberry. You can only get it at Sunny's Vape Shop. Hell yeah. Yeah, it is super cool to have an exclusive juice. Yeah, Ground Zero did that with a lot of the flavors. Yes. They had, like, exclusive flavors. Ex- yeah, like Cloud shots. Nine. I think Cloud Nine's got one. Uh, I haven't tried that. I'd like to. I think Galaxy has one. Galaxy's too. got one, and uh, I know Bluegrass has got one. Robin's used to. I don't know if they still do. It's, like, called Nest Egg. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure on that either. That's pretty good. I never tried yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's a little... I, now, see, I, I think doing, like, the exclusive stuff is good to draw people into a certain shop. Uh, I think sure. that that is that's just genius. Yes, it you is. You know, and not only for the, for the shops, but for the juice companies, you know. Right. Because if, if you've got an exclusive juice and somebody goes there and they just try that one juice, they're like, oh, well, that's really good. Let's Let's try some of these other ones, you know. Right. It's a good marketing. Yeah, point. definitely. It, uh... You know, it just gives you gives you something that other people ain't got. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes with so many, so much competition that, uh, you know, there's what was there 70, 70 shops in Cincinnati? I think they said alone. That's a lot. That's huge. That's like yeah. shops on every block. That's like how many McDonald's are in the city? I don't like. I mean, is that competing a little bit? Maybe. Uh, that's a lot of shops. There, there's shops. a lot of McDonald's. I know that. Yeah, there's probably, way, probably way more than yeah. 70. Yeah, there's probably way more than 70 McDonald's. But still, to have 70 vape shops, I mean, that's that's a lot. So, yeah, I mean, oh, you yeah. gotta you got to have something that other people don't have, you know, right. to, to keep your customers going and, and that kind of thing. And I think that's kind of what we did with the live music thing. It's, it's something that not everybody's doing and not everybody's did. And 
Right. It's really worked out for us. Uh, you know, and it gives the, the local music industry a, a somewhat of a stage to stand on, so to speak. That, right. You know, reach out to people. And, uh, you know, so it's been cool. It's been cool to be able to do that and, and come up with that. I've, I've never heard of a vape shop that does, like, live music. Yeah, I mean, out of state, it's it's a little bit bigger than it is here in Ohio. Like, I mean, if you right. go to New York, you talk about New York, or you talk about, uh, I think there was, like, uh, some shops in, like, West Virginia that used to do it. Um, I don't know if they're still open, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Texas, I think I've seen a few of the shops down there doing it. So it does happen. And, I mean, a lot of the trade shows, they do, like, music at the trade shows and right. stuff, too, so. You got to look into that. What's that guy that does that blow and O's song? Oh, oh that's Grim Grim and Clear Eyes. <laughs> yeah, you, you you should look yeah, into I've having seen them. That. I think it costs money to get those dudes to show up, man. Probably. They'd be sure. worth it, though. Yeah. I think people would dig the shit out of him, man. They got a shit ton of uh, YouTube subscribers. Yeah. That's the, that's where marketing looks to now. Yeah. YouTube subscribers sure. and Instagram followers. I do know there's been a couple of shops that have done live comedy. Locally. Yeah, I was going to say that next, yeah. Maximum and, uh, and Club Vape yeah. have both on live comedy, which has been fun. Yeah. Is it nice to be able to vape on stage? You know what, man? Uh, it takes too long. Like, the pause, like, with comedy, like, there's uh, It fucks with your you delivery. On, you, well, you get on a roll, you know what I mean? There's momentum, and if you take a three or four second pause here and there throughout it. Right. So, while I was able to... I think I only hit my box like three times at maximum in like 45 minutes. <clears throat> That's not bad. Which I'm a chain vapor, you know, right. <laughs> you know, off stage. Uh, right. So yeah, it just takes a while. You know what I mean? And it's loud. People hear it. So. Yeah, it's like distracting. Yeah. yeah. So if you're up on the stage, you probably shouldn't be. I mean, you right. know, unless you're just. I've kind of opted to not do it. Uh, yeah. So like three times in, in 45 minutes, I don't think was a lot. And it was that experience. And then that same experience was duplicated at Club Vape. Like, it just takes too long, yeah. and it's too distracting. And yeah. Everybody's staring at you, you know, so it, it's weird. Yeah, like and they're he, like, what's he hitting this mod for? Like, what are you, <laughs> Ain't he supposed to be keep, telling jokes? Keep yeah. talking, funny man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we paid a grand That's total of zero Brown dollars County. to get into this show. <laughs> we demand that you be funny the entire time. Yeah, like, don't <laughs> drop the ball. Right. But, yeah, so, but, like, doing comedy, like, part of it is how much I enjoy it. You right. know what I mean? So I kept breaking that momentum, and I did not enjoy that. So I probably will not vape very much on stage from here on out. It, right. I, I can see why you wouldn't do it, but at the same time, I mean, you're, you're in a vape shop. Yeah. Know? No, I mean, the audience seemed fine with it. Right. But they all just stared at me quietly, which I don't like. That's that's a negative. You could throw your, you could throw your groove off. Right. Like, what you need to do, okay, picture this if you I, – I, I know you hate – you know, ripping on people's bits and stuff like that. But think of, like, the famous smokers who get up on stage and do stuff, like Andrew Dice Clay. But you hit a cigarette fast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody's uh, taking, not like, really. a five-second draw off a cigarette. I don't know, man. The Dice Man, he gets up there, he does some tricks and shit, wraps yeah. his arm around his head and stuff. Yeah. I think you could do that and incorporate he that. He like a whole pack of cigarettes. In yeah. Like one. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like if I try to take this big box over my head and hit it, I'll knock myself Try out. it real quick here. Try it. Let's just see Let's what see it looks like. One. I can't do reach. Uh, oh, come on now. <laughs> Now, see, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'd love to see you do that on stage. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We're booking well, I'm watching that myself yeah. do it on the delay in the feed. <laughs> it's delayed. <laughs> that's hilarious. Busy said shout-out to Sonny. And hey, hey we got a shout-out, Busy Bill, man. Yeah. I've never Elevated. met that guy, but I have seen him on Facebook yeah. all over the place. Elevated Vapor, yeah. yeah. Anytime I complain about a menthol, somebody's always like, you should go hit, oh, yeah. hit what busy hits. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. He's definitely a menthol vapor for sure. People like I, to I try to trick me. People try to trick me. They're like, here, try this. I'm like, what is it? And they'll start laughing, and I know it's menthol. It's like 36 <laughs> nicotine. Like, oh, my God. That's rough. <laughs> yeah. man. Chris Young got me with this cinnamon menthol, and it, Ooh. oh, my God, it was brutal. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I don't see how that's enjoyable. Right. You know what I mean? But I don't like coleslaw, and people love that. You know, so I'm not saying <laughs> there's anything wrong with it. It's just I hate coleslaw. I hate coleslaw too, dude. I went to I'm this place that had yeah, hot. The best coleslaw. way to eat that is just throw it in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> have, you ever had, have you ever had hot coleslaw? Oh no, no. I but don't I, even. Eat. I have not had hot. 
coleslaw before, but I have I have had it dropped down my leg and into my shoe. Oh. That sucked. Dude, it's like clear. Yeah. Like, you know how when you cook cabbage, it's like clear? It could, looks like that. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of vinegar in it, I think. I don't know. It's disgusting. Yeah, it don't sound that's, nasty. That's some German bullshit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, they drink warm beer, too. Like, there's something yeah. wrong with that, like, for sure. <laughs> it's going to be, like, now, cold. Going back on the menthol thing here, uh, last time we had Josh from Hard Hitters in, he gave me some of the uh, the Modoc. The yeah. Modoc Frost. different. Yeah. Coolada's different. Coolada than is, is way different than the menthol. Yeah. And going into it, I thought, fuck, man, I'm not going to vape this. This is going to be gross. I got hooked, like, yeah. hard. Like it's the, super good. Yeah, it's super yeah. good. Not like a, a regular menthol. And I'll tell you, that's like, uh, it's big. I don't know how everybody's shop is. Like, I can only tell you about mine, but uh, anything with that cool out in it right now is super hot. Like, yeah. it, like uh, Cloud Coma, they had Ice Ice Coma. It's like a their uh, watermelon with cool out in it. Right. And, uh, Wow, it like it just started taking off. Like everything with that cool. Like uh, you know, we got Bond on ice. We got Modoc Frost now, uh, and everybody's always at some. I keep getting people asking me about that chill line. I don't know if you guys seen that in some of the shops. I've heard of the chill line. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't think it's local, but uh, you know, they asked me about that, and they're wanting some the cool stuff. And I find that you know, like Modoc or yeah, Modoc Frost, right, is good with cold coffee. Like really? if you, yeah, like super hmm. good. Like if you drink like Monster, the coffee ones, right? Or if you just drink cold coffee, whatever. Like super good. I believe, the proper, well. I believe the proper term is iced coffee. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I was thinking like <laughs> just old coffee when you no, say yeah, cold yeah, coffee, yeah, <laughs> iced, iced coffee. Yeah, which you can get proper at term. the uh, the CV Club Lounge Vape, inside yeah. of uh, Club Vape on Mall Road in Florence. They they carry hard hitters. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you go get a bottle of Modoc Frost and go next door and get uh, iced, iced coffee. coffee yeah. There right. you go. <laughs> I almost said cold coffee again. I mean, I, you know. You can get I'm a from, blended iced coffee or a regular yeah. iced I like coffee. living in Brown County. Like, no one really catches that kind of stuff out there. <laughs> they knew exactly what I was saying. Like. Dude, we did, a, we did a show at the uh, Gaslight Theater in Georgetown. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, people from Brown County are very proud to be from brown county and not only proud to be from brown county they're proud of like the redneck white trash shit that happens there (laughs) we almost hit this dude getting his mail on the way there right and he's walking across the street and he's got a towel in one hand and a 22 of budweiser in the other hand and he stops in the middle of the street looks at us takes a big swill out of this double deuce yeah puts it down and i told i was like telling that story about like this fucking idiot you know and they're like yeah brown county like they're yeah, yelling that's, brown that's, county at me. that's my kind of guy like, that's my that's the kind of guy i want to invite over and hang out with like, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but he stopped in the middle of the street like we're going 45 miles an hour down this back country road and he just stops takes this big swill and just looks at us like get out of the road dipshit <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we He's have probably just Brown County. Want to share with you or something? Probably. Really. Is, is Mount Orb Brown County? Yeah, Mount Orb is Brown County. Okay, that makes <laughs> yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. There's definitely some hillbilly stuff that goes on out there, but uh, you know, I mean, there's I, hillbilly shit going on everywhere. I've, really, I've met some awesome people out there. I, like I said, I'm from the west side of Cincinnati in the city, and uh, it took me a couple years to get used to living out in Brown County for sure. Like everything closes at freaking eight o'clock, and uh, they roll the sidewalks up and all that right. stuff, like, you know, 7 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, like, it took me a couple of years to kind of get used to living out there. But now I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's quiet. It, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. You got uh, the hustle and yeah, bustle, as the they the hustle say. and bustle. Like, people don't understand it till they come out there and they spend a couple of days or even a couple of hours, like. <laughs> you don't realize the difference there is, and I mean, uh, yeah, for sure. Like nobody could, wants to fight you because you wear a Make America Great hat again, right? I could wear <laughs> my my Trump stuff all over town, and nobody ever says anything. Yeah, so like nobody ever says nothing about it, and it's beautiful. I feel like I'm at home now with you. Yes. Yes. See, th- there's a reason I didn't bring that up earlier because I knew you guys would just talk about yeah. him the whole time. I think like eighty percent, eighty percent of Brown County voted for Donald Trump. That makes sense. So, yeah, definitely. You know, we <laughs> sold the hats and uh, supported it totally. And, you know, uh, yeah, I'm a Trump guy. I like Trump. So, More power to you, man. And I feel Jerry, like we Jerry's could just a, go on and on and on. Now. Jerry's a Trump, Trump guy. It's a good thing Bruce yeah. isn't here. He'd be losing his shit right now. Yeah, he'd be. He'd oh, be he's not. Hard. He yeah, doesn't he, like Trump. He hates oh, Trump big time. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong with him? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something in his Kool Aid, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bruce Leonard. Yeah, Bruce yeah. Leonard. Show him hey. some love. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But I've never met him, but hey, Bruce. He's listening. a cool cat. I think you'd like. He's him. pretty funny too. Yeah, he's he's we a good like guy. Bruce. Does he do other podcasts on this? Uh, he's channel? actually on the uh, my other show that I do, the, okay, the Kentucky cool. Hot Brown Boys. He's on there with me. He's one of my co-hosts. Yeah, that's awesome. So every week you can tune in and listen to him. I'm digging the podcast thing, man. It, mean, it's not bad. It's, it's a fun it's thing chill. to get into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know Jay's like kind of trying to take over this one and. I kind of <laughs> I kind of like that <laughs> Jay's like trying that, to take yeah. over. I am this. You guys pair well. You guys pair well. And a lot of times, you know, these podcasts, I notice, like, it's usually teams. You know what I mean? Like a team of two or even a couple, you know, three maybe. Right. Uh, that kind of like, you know, it just makes it more entertaining. I guess you get bored with one guy sitting there yeah, talking. Yeah, just one, one yeah. guy talking. Uh, Bill Burr does it. Yeah. Yeah, but he's like. He does like an hour long by himself every Monday. Man. Does he do it live, though, or is he sitting no, like. No, he just records it. He just records it yeah, and then like it out edits it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't oh, know if he edits it at all. I gotta go take a shit now. I'm gonna just Bill, wait. Bill right. Burr's a guy. Come does, back and can't minutes. do that live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Burr is a guy that does not give a fuck about what anyone thinks. Right. So my guess is he doesn't edit it at all. Probably. probably. I think it's just well, stri- probably straight not. shot. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that is gonna be our time this week, folks. Thanks everybody on Facebook Live for tuning in. Uh, thank you, Sonny, for coming yeah. in. Shout Thanks out for, for Sonny, everybody. Hey. Show him some love. Thanks for having me out, man. It was great. Uh, you know, just uh, and I really am a big fan of what you guys are doing, and uh, I watch it every every week or whenever you post, and uh, appreciate you guys. We, we appreciate that, man. Where can uh, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, you know, uh, of course, I got my personal page, Sonny Varma, and uh, you know, we have Facebook pages for Sonny's Vape Shop. Uh, Mount Orb and Sonny's Vape Shop, Georgetown. Which I tagged in the uh, description on the video. So awesome. if anybody wants to go and yeah, just click yeah. the links right there. And then we have the event them. event page, you guys. Uh, if you plan on coming, uh, we're going to have like an online uh, sign up. Uh, so it'll be like a post where you just tag your name. Uh, we do that every time, so most people know that. But uh, spread the word. You know, anybody that vapes or whatever and maybe wants to win some money. Let them know they can win a thousand dollars, or uh, I mean, even if you don't win, you're gonna walk out with something. So, right. Uh, it's always great, to, and it's uh, a ton of fun. It is. It Some is people take the cloud comp stuff real seriously, but it's silly. Yeah. You know, I think it's silly, and it's fun, yeah. and uh, yeah. So definitely go check it out, April first. Yeah, April first. That's at the Mount Orb location. Mount Orb location. Yep. All right, good yep. deal. We'll be rocking out. <laughs> Well, Sonny, thanks again for coming in, man. I yep. can't thank you enough, man. You come all the way. You didn't come as far as uh, Brandon did. He came all the way from Alaska. But, I mean, Mount yeah. Orb, that's, that's a drive. So Yeah. Pre- appreciate <laughs> you coming out, man. It's been <laughs> cool. fun, man. It has. It has. So thanks again, everybody, on Facebook for watching. Uh, as always, vape safe. <laughs>